Hello, happy Monday. Uh, never miss a live, never <laughs> miss a live, never miss a Monday live show. I think this is episode 12. So super fun coming to you. I'm traveling at, I'm actually at Trainer Lauren's house right now. All the kids are outside swimming, which I'm gonna go uh, catch a dip with them after this. It's been an amazing Monday. Visa Studio is just, I'm, I'm just so proud of our team right now. Everyone's been showing up in the masses and just really taking care of themselves. One, uh, this wasn't part of my show today, but I want to share this one challenge with everybody. I think it's so powerful. It has to do with the fitness for your mental well-being. And I gave our team this challenge today. For the next seven days, when you wake up each morning, fill your brain. The first three to five minutes when you get up, fill it with something positive, something inspirational, something motivational. Don't just go to the email or the Facebook or let the world's demands come on you. You go out and seek something to fill you up to start that day. I guarantee it's gonna change your entire day and mindset. And so give it seven days, see how you feel. Um, that's my personal challenge to my team today. So I'll put it out there to the world and everyone watching. Today, you're in for a treat. I was trying to think, what should we do today? I love to just come with what feels like my body needs and what my team would need. Uh, what, what can I give to everyone today to fill them up a little bit more? And I uh, came up with one of our most popular self massages at BFIT Studio, which we do in barefoot conditioning and now in some of our bar classes. And this is our lower leg and foot massage. And we all need this. This is going to feel so good. You're going to have this recording now anytime you need to come back to this. It's a simple self massage technique. Our lower leg does so much for us and we neglect it. Most of us are neglecting this part of our body that truly houses the stability for everything above it. So if you're having issues in your shoulders, your neck, your knees, your hips, it very, very well can be related to what's going on in this lower leg and it either being too tight, um, not having enough mobility, not having a much, enough range of motion. So we're gonna go through just a simple stretch series that I love. Part of this is incorporated from Will Power's Soul, um, soul series that they had, but it's just about working the fascia, opening the muscles, and whichever leg you want to start on, it doesn't matter, um, we're going to do both of them. You're going to start your thumbs in like a rolling pin, it's like I, how I like to think about it. And you start at the very top part of your calf. Your calf is a very, very strong muscle group. Most likely it is too tight, too strong, uh, and so we just want to make sure that we're giving it some release. We're allowing it to release, and what that's going to do is it's going to, like I said, start to release the knee up into the hip and shoulders, and it's also, if anyone's ever had plantar fasciitis, that pain down in their heel, the bottom of the foot, this is amazing series if you're an athlete, if you're a runner, if you play sports, um, if you're kids, this is really good for them to do. And then like I tell everyone, or if you're just an athlete, like we all are training for life to live functional and injury free. I have not had an injury in over eight years thanks to taking care of my feet and working balance and mobility. We do a lot of barefoot workouts. Uh, V-Fit, it's so important. Everybody should be kicking off the shoes a few times a week to work on their feet. It's just such an intricate, beautiful structure. We won't go into all of that today, but those feet, I mean, what else houses or holds up the weight of your entire body? I love the analogy. And you're just getting in there. You might feel a tight spot. In the beginning, you're gonna have just a small little massage. Then you can start to take the fingers and massage up in the top of the shin. This is one of my best analogies that really clicked for me. If you're gonna go build a house, right? Invest all this time and money in building yourself a nice, big, beautiful, small, whatever kind of house, it doesn't really even matter. Uh, would you go and build that on a bed of quicksand? Something with no foundational structure integrity. And the answer, I'm sure it would be no. So the same thing, why would you spend all this time and energy um, training your body if you're not gonna have a strong foundation for it to stand upon? So that really hit me years ago and I heard that I've been into barefoot conditioning and training for a very long time and like I said it has prevented a lot of injuries. All right and then I know a lot of people firsthand who have rehabbed from a lot of injuries by adding some barefoot work. So now we're going to get down to the ankles. You're just going to take your fingers you're just going to kind of rub around those bony parts of the outside of your ankles, right? I call them your door hinges. That's what gives you the plantar and dorsi flexion, the mobility you need for your squats and, squats and lunges and just to walk. So go ahead and massage around those. You're breaking up some of that fascia, which is under the skin. And our body is one big spider web underneath. It all connects. So usually it's this. And when I get into this calf, that releases my low back. You'll, the more you do this little stretch series, the more you're going to realize, ooh, I'm tight there. This 
this is connected to that. So you're gonna rub around the ankles and then you're gonna come down nice and softly. Feel how just delicate that top of your foot is. You, if you take time to like get to know your feet, they're so, they really are an amazing part of our body. Mostly we just stick them in a shoe and say, uh, just sit in there and get hot and sweaty and do your job. But their job is really so intricate. It's to work and be strong. So now I'm gonna come along the top of the foot and you can feel that's a very fragile structure, right? And then I want you to kind of push. You're gonna feel right where you get to about the toes and you can feel a change in temperature. Your toes are usually probably a bit colder than the rest of your body, just like your fingers. That's, so we're gonna to try to push some of that nice warm warmth that we have in the top of our foot into our toes. And it's gonna help your circulation. We do a cardio series on Wednesday mornings and Sunday mornings after we do this warm up and you get so sweaty because your circulation from just doing this, that's why I tell athletes this is a really good series to do before you're gonna go for a run or play a sport. You're gonna get a lot more circulation in your body, which is gonna give you more stamina and strength. So I'm just kind of working. And then we come up to the toes and we call this toe gymnastics. And here's the beauty. You can do this in your own house, uh, if with, you know, in your own space. You can get this down to about five minutes. I'm taking a little bit longer today because I'm going through all the moves. But toe gymnastics, just move the toes front to back, side to side. Maybe get your fingers in there. Kind of massage those nerves between the toes. I joke around if you've had kids, not joke, kids home on um, quarantine. It's sometimes how you have to like separate the kids into separate rooms, right? Give them some space. Same idea with your toes right now. Give them some space. <laughs> And then I take the fist, this is my favorite one, take the fist and I just start to pound the bottom of my foot like, wake up, hello, we got a day ahead of us, the opportunity, if you're doing what I said and starting your day with positive messaging, uh, affirmations, inspiration, then all of a sudden you're like not dreading the day, you're looking forward to it, it's a day full of opportunity. I'll share one more favorite quote that I have right now. So I'm going to just pump and it, this is, this is going to increase the circulation in your heart to your feet. The stronger and healthier your feet are, the stronger and healthier your body is. So healthy, strong feet are a sign of a healthy, strong body. And then you're going to take either your middle knuckle or your elbow, something a little bit with a little bit of an edge, and just it might tickle a little massage. In fact, I got a pedicure yesterday when she got to the bottom of my foot. It was so ticklish. That's good. Being ticklish, you've got all those nerve endings that are alive, right? They're talking to your brain. Your feet and your hands, they, they tell your body so much. So massage down the middle of that foot. And for those of you new to this, you're like, who is this crazy lady massaging her feet thinking this is a workout? You're gonna learn to love this. All right, and my favorite part is, it's so obvious. Look at the two feet right now. There should be a difference in color, right? The foot you just worked, it has a lot more blood flow, a lot more life, a lot more uh, structure to stability. And then for me, a big difference, um, I can see the, it, my foot that I just worked, it just looks healthier, it's more plump, it's got more, color to it and all of that. So that is proof that what we did just made a difference. And then we'll go through that on the other side. So if you're coming in late, just do what I'm doing. Either rewind, rewind, how old school is that? Either go back to the beginning or um, just try to get this in on both legs. And you want to start right up behind the knee. This is a part of our functional fitness plan. We have four parts of fitness that we believe are all of equal importance to each other. And that is cardio, HIIT training, you know, that high intensity, getting your heart rate, getting your cardio in, then strength training. And then this would go under the component. This can be balance and mobility or stretch and recovery. We have those in part of the, both in a separate part of the quadrant of our functional fitness plan. So important, like I said, kicking off those shoes. Last week we did um, a body weight series where we worked some balance work in there so making sure that we're taking care of the structure of our lower legs challenging our core this also i didn't talk about but this relates to the pelvic floor i could go on and on but you're just enjoy the massage here i like one of our members said it's called the present right now the present because it is the gift i shared that in bar class this morning like that hit me i was looking at each week i like to have a mantra or a quote or something to have some focus and that was it. As I was going through bar, I'm like, I haven't set mine yet for the week, but I started talking and then I said, I, I think I'm feeling that. It's called the present because it's a gift. So right now, enjoy this. You deserve a couple minutes away from your day to give yourself this nice lower leg foot massage. What are you doing giving to everybody else? Are you filling your tank? 
<laughs> we can still going out. It's crazy outside. Pull. And then we get down to the ankle, rub around the bony parts of this ankle. And once you do this a couple times, you start to kind of get the flow of it and you could do it on your own at any time. If you have foot or knee pain or really any pain in your body, I would start doing this daily. See if it makes a difference. You know it's for sure not going to hurt anything. Um, see if that helps break up some of the kinks in your body, that fascia that runs underneath that connects everything. And then we're going to massage the top of the foot just nice and lightly. Get in this direction. And you're just kind of pushing in to those toes. You're kind of if you can think about like spreading out a bag to kind of even it out, pushing some of that healthy, warm blood flow into the toes. And if you're doing this, let me know uh, if this is totally new and like different for you, or if you, you're a V fitter and you love this one, uh, we bring you more, this into more classes or anywhere in between. I, I love your feedback and knowing that we're making a difference, adding to your toolbox. So you're going to go ahead, separate the toes. I'm sure the bottoms of my feet are somewhat dirty. We've been in and outside all day. So separate the toes, toe gymnastics. But they're your feet. You can go wash your hands after. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love a good foot massage? So get into those toes. You're worth these 10, 5, 10 minutes. You will be a better, more filled up, productive, present person after this. Try to just let everything else go. This is your your little gift today. Stop in to watch this, right? This is a good thing on social media to, to take in. It's going to add benefit, right? That's a, what I talked about in the beginning. Is what you're reading, consuming, who you're around, is that adding benefit to your life? Is that increasing your quality, like positivity, inspiration? So whew, go ahead, fist pump, fist pump. We do this in the morning, and I usually say, wake yourself up. But here we are midday. Hopefully everyone, we kind of get sleepy this time of day, so maybe this is like your little cup of coffee. Get in there, pump it around the heels. If you're stuffy on the west coast, it's been pretty smoky. You can come up into the toes and the footbed, and you're just, again, pumping some life. And then the last one here, just massage down that plantar fascia, the middle of your foot with the ankles. Looks like we had a good turnout here today. Thank you all. I appreciate you guys coming in on the Monday. It's been really fun to do this. There's no frills or anything. Wherever I am, whatever's going on, I've been able to just try to log in and share, give you something that you can use in your everyday life because if you're waiting for the perfect time, you're going to be waiting a long time. Right now is what we have to work with. So look for opportunity. That's another one of my favorite quotes. Look for opportunity, not excuses. We all have opportunities to take care of ourselves in our day. And when it makes you a better person, when it makes you feel better, when you can see and feel the difference in your body, that is some of the best motivation out there to keep finding those little chunks of time. So I don't want to keep you much longer. I hope everyone has a great day. I'm going to go hop in the pool out here and um, I will see you all next week. Maybe we'll do, I don't know exactly what we'll do. Maybe a bar workout or something. If you have any suggestions or um, anything you want to see on the show, I'm all ears. All right. Bye.